right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Hakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught this truth for the do well, as well as peace, blessings, and many salutations to the election and the sincere believers in general, both men, women, and children. Hey, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to you, brothers and few sisters that are in this thing of truth and sincerity. The Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. And, um, you know, I was just, you know, I'm on my way home, you know, from the gym. And, um, and I was just kind of thinking, you know, um, about, you know, the scriptures and, you know, how, you know, it talks about, um, I believe it's in Ephesians, the fifth chapter or the fourth or the fifth chapter. You know, it talks about one faith, one truth, one Lord, something along those lines. And, um, you know, we know that the Bible is a book of law, it's a book of prophecy, all right, it's a book of precepts, which in other words is a book of commandments, all right, um, it's it's the inspired word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai at the end of the day, all right, and you got individuals out here who, you know, they, they follow, all right, bits and pieces of the Bible, all right, Scripture talks about them filling their own bellies, all right? Um, you know, they refuse to accept certain parts of the doctrine, like uh, rebuke, you know, like uh, can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, what what uh, communion have uh, Hamashiach with Baal or light with darkness, right? Um, you know, Scripture even talks about how if there come any unto you and brings not this doctrine, you know, he can come with the words like, oh, I believe in y'all, but you shine. But if his doctrine differentiates from that of the body, he's as a heathen, you know, really, you know. And with these other groups, man, I mean, we give them their props when they do right. But a big part of the reason they don't they don't like, all right, Great Millstone is because of the rebuke, man. You know, we, we tell these guys, starting with the apostles and the elders, they get on these guys for, you know, rocking with one another and holding these uh, quote-unquote unity camps but they're not really in, in unison you know they're they're of di different doctrines and they refuse to rebuke one another and you know Matthew the 18 talks about it man um, to an extent that you know if you know your brother offends you you know and it's, that's going into offense but it's pretty much the same concept that you bring two two witnesses all right, and if they if he refuses to listen, then then you bring him unto the church, and if he still refuses to listen and get on on you know one accord with the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, then he's to be counted as a heathen, man. He's not supposed to be part of the church anymore. You see, so the Lord has set it up directly to where no, not everybody's welcome. If you don't come with the correct testimony, all right. If you don't come with the right doctrine, the right teachings, then you're not welcome, man, at the end of the day. And the scripture, uh, the scriptures, you know, uh, promotes that, for lack of better words. All right? So all these different dudes out here, you know, that are part of these different groups, man, they don't, they don't really understand, you know, what this thing is about. Because, yeah, we, you know, I know y'all Israelites, but... Hey, you, you think the, the 12 and Yahweh Shai, they knew they were Israelites, you know? The, the you know, all the followers that, uh, you know, the, or the Gentiles that came back into the truth, you know, they, they you know, believed on Yahweh Shai through faith. You think they didn't know that they were Israelites? You know? The Sadducees, the Pharisees, right? They knew they were Israelites. So just because we all know we're Israelites, we're supposed to be rocking with one another. You know, you put a little bit of a uh, ribbon of blue and some fringes on your t-shirts and I'm supposed to rock with you now? No, man. Hey, man, uh, props to, you know, brothers, like, it's not really, um, you know, but it's part of the doctrine, man. Props to, you know, these, these brothers out here who, you know, I can't rock with you like that, but at the end of the day, yeah, you're trying, you're doing, you know, you're all right. But a lot of these guys, what? They boast in the Torah, man. They boast in the carnal ordinances, man, which, and, you know, a lot of these groups, they... They really don't speak on Yahweh Shai. They really don't believe on the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. How can I rock with somebody like that, right? 
they don't, um, you know, it talks about it in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, man, about the dry bones, like that represents Israel in that dead state, but you got, um, you know, the, the, the bones coming together, all right, you know, Ezekiel, the prophet prophesied unto the bones, can these bones live, Lord, thou knowest, right? And that breath of life, what, represents the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. You can beat the bones coming together. You know, you can have a little bit, but, you know, when we say 100% truth, you know, it doesn't mean that we know every little every little thing, you know, every, every you know, detail. There's, you know, scripture says we know in part and prophesy in part, but at the end of the day, the election are going to know what's need to be known on this side for them to get beamed up out of here. A lot of these groups don't believe on the chariots, man. And it's no wonder why... The chariots don't reveal themselves unto these other groups, man. See, GMS, we're about a um, a deep level of faith, man. You know, and we're about the 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 Bible from front to back. You know, no, uh, you know, nothing, nothing, uh, you know, cut out of it. All right, so. You know, it was just something that's kind of on my spirit. Just, uh, you know, I have another lesson I'm, I'm about to get into right now. Uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. But, um, you know, I was just kind of thinking, like, man, you got individuals out here who just believe that, you know, you're going to have. And we believe this, too, that you're going to have elect out of all these different groups. All right. But I believe majority of the election will come out of Great Millstone. All right. And this is through faith. You know, it's not me declaring it you know but it's just you know who else man at the end of the day like it's not it's just you know start with the apostles and the elders man we got it you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. and you're gonna have other individuals like like i said the election gonna come out of all groups all right but there you got individuals coming out of these camps man coming out of these other groups like damn nah we see the way that our leadership is going and it's not right man they don't have it all right leaking oil okay but it tells you in proverbs um the fourth chapter i believe like the eighth verse it says but the just is a uh, you know loosely paraphrasing is a light that shineth brighter and brighter unto the that perfect day you know which that perfect day is the coming of our lord yahweh shai mashiach you see so i mean you know that's really the point it's just something that was kind of on my spirit just uh, decided to do a lesson on it, man. Two cannot walk together except they be agreed, agree, man. I may be able to have a conversation with you. You know, I may be able to. But at the end of the day, you can't know the ins and outs of <laughs> what I got going on. Like, it's only a, a certain level to, you know, getting to know one another or, or, you know, anything of that sort, you know. Can two walk together except they be agreed? All right, so... Hey, Lord's will, that was edifying, man. Call Lord Yimna, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Hakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and many salutations to the election. Shalom.